I'm gonna take my jacket off halfway because this is so hot. It turns out the most influential figure in finance is none other than Taylor Swift. You probably already heard that she took the internet by storm and broke the record of the most watched Sunday NFL show since Super Bowl when she showed up to a Kansas City Chiefs game to cheer on her new boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. Who that? You've probably also seen angry men defending Travis's position and getting upset in viral TikTok videos when women talk about Taylor Swift's impact on his career and the men are not having it. So it's time for the Invest Diva take on this whole situation and to connect Taylor Swift's impact with money and wealth because that's what we talk about in this channel. In this video, we'll delve into the money principles that have made Taylor Swift the queen of everything, how her approach can revolutionize the way you look at wealth building and how you can operate at the same levels as Taylor Swift to build generational wealth even if your voice sucks like me. You can just shake it off, shake it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Purposefully, PG. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, we're going to use the phrases money and Taylor Swift in the same sentence a lot in this video, and it's going to change how you view wealth, and it's gonna change your life and build your generational wealth. So let's get into it. So Taylor Swift showed up to a Kansas City Chiefs game to cheer on her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and the internet and the TV programs alike went wild and it got super hot. And here's why it matters. Travis Kelsey isn't just any NFL player. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion and arguably one of the most famous athletes in the NFL. But just by Taylor Swift attending his game, something incredible happened. Now this is wild. Travis Kelsey saw his social media following grow by staggering 300,000 followers and his merchandise sales skyrocketed by an incredible 400%. But what does this tell us about wealth or finance and Taylor Swift? We've all heard that in the male dominated world of finance, technical skills are where it's at. But this Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey story shows shows us something equally, if not more important, the power of soft skills, communication, divine feminine, empathy, and relationship. Most people don't know this, and the wealthy try to gatekeep it from you, but these skills are more valuable when it comes to building wealth. In fact, one of my money mentors says there are four levels of value in the marketplace. Before I reveal the four levels, let's quickly talk about the nature of money so you get the bigger picture as to why Taylor Swift gets to be a multi-millionaire without working her bones off in a nine-to-five job. Here's the mistake most people make about the nature of money. They think money is materialistic. They say, I don't care about money because I'm not materialistic. This is interesting because if I offered you a penny in exchange for a hundred dollar bill, you'd get mad. Even though the penny is made of a more valuable material than the paper of the hundred dollar bill. Money is not material in its essence. The hundred dollar bill is 10,000 times more valuable than the penny. And this is possible because the value of money isn't based on the material it's made of. The value of money is based on the message it carries. Communication is your first keyword today that I want you to pay attention to for the rest of this video. And it's gonna lead you to the four levels of value in the marketplace. Are you with me? In this channel, I talk a lot about the fact that the value of a stock in the financial markets is based on the market sentiment, which means how much much confidence and energy the market participants have put in or are willing to put in an asset is very important. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It only changes form. And because energy is neither created nor destroyed, and the fact that people's sentimental energy adds to the value of an asset and it increases its price proves that money is what? Energy! Now let's get geeky with it. Money is energy. and Albert Einstein discovered that energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. What does that mean? It means energy is a function of speed to the power of two. Yes, I studied electrical engineering at school and now I'm trying to make use of it. We just proved that money is energy, so money equals energy equals a function of speed of light to the power of two. That's the speed of light times the speed of light. Like speed of light multiplied by itself. That's huge! And because 
because energy is a function of speed to the power of two, and because money is energy, your money will increase in value with speed. This means that the speed at which you make decisions is extremely important. That's exactly why Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, reveals that one of the main characteristics the wealthiest people have in common is that they are decisive in nature and make fast decisions. Money like speed, and if you haven't noticed, Taylor Swift is pretty damn fast when it comes to making decisions. She won the iHeartRadio Innovator Award because she made fast decisions and gave herself permission to fail. She didn't sleep on her decisions, and now her fast actions show up on her bottom line. So far, we proved money isn't materialistic and that it loves speed. If you think this is mind-blowing, stay with me because I'm about to dive into something that can literally change your money life forever. Not only is money not materialistic, it actually is imaginary. Why is the original Mona Lisa a million times more valuable than the one I printed using my printer today? It's because the value of an asset has nothing to do with what it's made of and it's based on the message it carries. A share of Apple stock is saying, it's communicating with us that, hey, I'm valuable because millions of people think I'm valuable. But in reality, all market participants are simply imagining that Apple stock is valuable because in reality, there are no guarantees where it's gonna go tomorrow. So guess what we just discovered? We discovered that thinking creates value. This is the second keyword I want you to pay attention to for the rest of this video. And the faster you think, because money is energy and energy is a function of speed of light to the power of two, the more money you make. Thinking creates value. Taylor Swift uses her brain, uses her imagination, and goes through them boys fast. Instead of getting depressed, she takes her heartaches and quickly turns them into lyrics. That when she communicates them, they literally move the masses and shake buildings like an earthquake. Your imagination creates value. Then communicating your imagination creates value. Setting priorities in your day to increase the speed at which you do these things will determine how much wealth you accumulate in your lifetime. Sleeping on a decision will often keep you broke. That's why my mentor says there are four levels of value when it comes to making money in the marketplace and that you should only operate at the highest speed on the third and fourth levels of value. If you try to operate at a high speed on the first two levels, you're gonna get exhausted, burn out, and stay broke. Let's dive into the four levels of value. At the lowest level, we got what my mentor calls implementation. This is where the hardest working people in our society do the physical work using a physical resource over a limited resource called time, exchanging your resources for time. Think housekeepers or McDonald's staff working super hard but capped by time and muscle. The second level of value is called unification. More like the McDonald's manager or a Lockheed VP. It's not about how to do it, but who can do it for you. At this level, you make more money than level one because you're being more resourceful, but your income is still capped and you probably hate your job. Above these two levels, the third and fourth levels are where fortunes are made because here's where we enter the world of abundance. The third level of value is communication. And that's the keyword that's behind Taylor Swift's riches and influence. This is the land of YouTubers and actors. You've got to use your mouth or mouth equivalents, shout out to Stephen Hawking, to raking the moolah. But the real jackpot is on the fourth level of value. It's the essence of money. It's imagination. Think Steve Jobs. Dude didn't build the first Apple computer, but imagine and communicated Apple's vision so loud. We still hear it after his death. Combine communication with imagination, do it often without hesitation, also known as taking risks, and cha-ching. Taylor Swift's influence and wealth didn't come from her knowledge of football or finance. It came from her ability to connect with people, use her imagination to transform her thoughts into relatable songs, and then communicate them like a queen from a place of abundance. She's not scared of putting songs after songs after songs out. She's not scared of running longer shows than what's considered normal. She makes decisions fast, and the combination of these is the 
reason, her mere presence boosted Travis Kelsey's career significantly. Now this brings us to an interesting perspective that has now become my core mission at Invest Diva to bring fun and the divine feminine into finance. This is basically the anti-zero-sum game remedy to the Wall Street bro domination that has kept women out of the game for so long and has made finance the most boring and intimidating topic to talk about. But now things are changing. Taylor Swift isn't out there trying to win a game. She's operating from a place of abundance at the highest levels of value we just talked about. That's why she had the impact she had on her boyfriend's career, even though he's also a very hard worker and talented. In a world that has often valued traditional masculine traits in finance, the time has come to recognize the power of feminine energy. Traits like creativity, imagination, patience, connection, and the energy of love and compassion are going to bring abundance to the stock market and stop the zero-sum game mentality. I can already hear haters commenting, claiming I hate men and this is a bunch of gibberish, but all of my divine kings and queens out there will get it. So if that's you, if you want to start operating at the higher levels of value and start building wealth with an abundance mindset, comment wealth below and join the Investiva movement. This is where thousands of members are growing their investment portfolios to six and seven figures, even if they're not good with numbers and are super busy with life. And as always, remember, make your money make babies.